Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Jeff from Source Audio. Today I want to talk to you about a new feature in Neuro3, our mobile and desktop effects editing software. It's called Soundcheck and it allows you to instantly hear any of the presets currently published to Neuro. And to date there are over 10,000 presets published to Neuro. It also allows you to open any of those presets and make parameter changes and hear the changes you're making in real time. Save those changes and essentially create new presets. So here's how it works. There are 20 pre-recorded unaffected clips in there. Guitar clips, bass clips, keyboard clips, drum clips. You can pair any of those clips with any preset and then open the editor and start making changes. See, we have created perfect emulations of all of our One Series pedals within the app. So let me just quickly jump into the Neural Mobile app and give you a quick overview of what you can do. So you'll see that all of the presets have these little orange play buttons. If I just hit the play button, I can hear the preset. I can also change the clip. Now I can open the editor and make changes and hear them back in real time. Very excited about this technology and now I'm just going to jump into the Neuro desktop editor and show you how to navigate the controls. Okay let's dive in the Neuro editor with sound check. We're going to start in the middle here in the community section on the my feed tab. At the top of the my feed tab is where we keep our preset packs. Uh, right now we have a bunch of preset packs that are just introductory preset packs for all of our pedals. So if you click on you know let's click on the artifact lo-fi elements and this is just a curated collection of great presets. It's a great way to get started with a new pedal or to explore a pedal that maybe you haven't heard yet. Now to hear a preset, all you need to do is hit that preset's orange play button. Lots of excellent presets in the artifact collection. Let's check out the C4 collection, because that is a great one. Starting right at the top with Future Nostalgia. Very thick sound. I'm actually going to turn the cab sim off. Let's try it with a different clip. Nice. Let's try 12 string esque. This is a polyphonic pitch shifting preset. You can bypass it. Turn it back on. Okay, there is also a uh, programmable sequencer in the C4, and this is a great example of that. All right, so let me show you how you can use Soundcheck to actually create a brand new preset. Uh, one of the things I like to do is use another preset as a starting point and then build from there. So. I've gone to the presets tab in the community section, and this pulls up every preset that is currently published to Neuro, and that's over 10,000 presets. So I'm going to filter things a little bit uh, by popularity, and I want only Nemesis Delay presets. Okay, so here are all the Nemesis Delay presets currently published in order of popularity. And we are going to use this L Captain preset. So I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to close my side windows so that I can spread out my interface and see more of the controls at once. Uh, and opening a preset is a great way to see how a preset is constructed. You know, you can see 
what engine they're using, what delay engine they're using. You can see all the parameter settings, the routing. Now, the first thing I want to do is select a clip to edit with. So I'm going to hit the play button. And I can open up my clip library. Maybe I'm a bass player. I can select smooth bass and edit with that. If I want to use a distorted guitar line, I can pick heavy melodic. Bypass the pedal. Gauge it. Let's go with staccato. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is set my input level. Now if I turn it up too high, it can start clipping. And this little indicator tells you if you're clipping. So I'm going to pull it back a little bit. I like to get it right to just below clipping so I can have a nice strong signal. But just so you know, the input level has nothing to do with the actual preset. It's merely for the sound check playback. So if you were to load this uh, preset into a pedal, the input level set down here uh, has nothing to do with that preset. So let's start the clip again. Start making my changes. And you're gonna hear those changes in real time as you change parameters. Now I'm not gonna go into a uh, a full description of the editor because every pedal has its own editor. You could sit here and tweak all day and it's a lot of fun. But uh, once you do find a sound that you like, you're gonna wanna hit save to library. And then you're gonna wanna name that preset. And give it a description. Then hit save. And if I go over to my cloud preset section in library, there it is, endless echoes. Okay, let me show you one other cool thing here. So as you remember, I built endless echo starting with a preset called L Captain. So if I go down here to the three dot icon, go to preset info, down at the bottom, it shows the original artist. So if I click on that, Deadlands created this one, and this goes to his, his profile, and you can see all the presets that he has created. So that's nice. You know, we encourage people to build presets on top of other presets, but we also want to give credit to the original creator. I also want to call your attention to this. Uh, obviously, uh, a lot of people have created presets and published presets prior to the release of Soundcheck. Now, if you've published something and you scroll down, on some of your presets, you will see this little set clip button. So if you haven't set a default clip for a preset that you've already published, you can just hit this button and then decide which clip you want to use. Okay, that one sounds a little aggressive for that preset. And let's say I am a keyboard player. Maybe I'll grab my synth keys clip. I'm gonna turn down the input level. I'm gonna turn off my amp simulator. I like the way that sounds. So I can just hit save. And now when anybody clicks on that preset, they're going to hear the synth keys clip. Now, if I have created a preset using only my phone or desktop computer 
with soundcheck, uh, but I have the pedal. I can connect it, and I'm going to do that right now. And when I do that, you will see, okay, add pedal. You will see that the pedal presets section over here on the left uh, will populate. So right now, you can see there's a bunch of presets already loaded into the pedal. But if I wanted to load endless echo into the pedal, I can just hit uh, this arrow and hit save to pedal. And then I select whichever uh, preset position I want to save it to. Let's say I want to save it to 100 and uh, give the preset a name. Hit save. And because I already have a preset there, it asks, do you want to replace the 100th preset? Uh, yeah, I do. So click yes. Preset is burned. And you can see endless echo is over here. Now it is on my pedal. And there are other ways you can load presets onto pedals. If, if I have it over here in my library and I just want to uh, pull it over there, I can just drag it. Let's drag it to the 101st position. So I just dragged it and there it is. Endless echo is in that preset position as well. Okay, we are going to plug a guitar into this pedal and Nick is going to play you out with the endless echo preset. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to us here on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, and sign up for our insider newsletter for the latest source audio news and neuro preset packs. Okay, we will see you next time. Bye-bye.